This is an old show that we started shooting in 07, so over 10 years ago, and it's called Blackberg. It's just kind of this uh, improvised dramedy. Um, it stars me and uh, my wife Krista, who play twins, and it's about Ken, Kim, and Charlatan, and some extra uh, peripheral characters um, in the small town Blackbird. Kind of silly, more often than not, pretty cringy. It's got this kind of slowness to it, and I'm not sure why, but I, at, there are some moments, and some, some of the improv is pretty... Um, pretty funny at times, I, I found. Um, it's kind of this kind of weird, like, lightning in a bottle sometimes, some things. Uh, sometimes it comes off really funny, sometimes it comes off as not funny at all. Uh, it's sort of an interesting exercise. I, I do remember uh, very much enjoying doing these shows, and the style, we've always tried to, we have thought of ways to um, keep going with the style. We kind of call it Blackberg style, if we ever talk about a, an idea in this way. There's some obvious issues. Well, mostly it's just on camera mic. Um, interestingly enough, this was shot on a, a Canon Power Shot, I believe. Because even at the time, I remember in, o, in 07, it was kind of a dated camera and it was no one was really using Power Shots to shoot stuff. The beginning nexus of the idea was I uh, just wanted to do something quick and kind of just uh, run and gun and very... Um, very on the cheap and like not worrying about cameras and stuff. Um, I think that was probably the generally the reason why it was black and white. Um, didn't have to worry too much about lighting colors and stuff. Um, just kind of a quickness to it. I think mo all, all the episodes are about five minutes. I think all the episodes run about an hour, an hour altogether. Yeah, again, most of it's bad. Uh, there are, you know, some kind of gems in there. They take some uh, digging. Yeah, enjoy. Try to. interested in your uh, job ad um, in paper experience no not really uh, but I'm a quick learner references uh, do you have an email Ken Smith 555-1307 1 Thanks. Have a good day. I'm going to be a successful doctor. He's going to have to do more to sit on his ass. Hmm? Uh, I think I'm going to break up with him. Why'd you break up with him already? You've only been going out with him for like a month. I'm just sick of him. You know? You agree with me, right? He seems fine to me. Well, you know, he's nice and everything, but 
Todd were breaking up with him, so maybe you just should do it now. Do it. I dare you. Yeah. Not happening. Just because you have a really boring life working in a library doesn't mean that you have to exploit me for fun. No! Doing? Watching Paper Robot. Mm, sounds like fun. Found a job yet? No. Why? Well, I've just been thinking and I think I've got some issues that I need to work out before I get serious with you, so. Um, well. I'm trying. I'm gonna need some time on my own. Okay, fine. You need to motivate yourself a little bit more. It's not about me, it's about you. Okay. Have your laugh of the day. Back to work. See ya. Kim? What happened last night? Took advantage of me last night. What? I don't even... Was any good? <laughs> no. no? I was at least good. That wasn't a no. That was a... So, are you gonna talk to your sister? No! Or... God, we're family. We don't talk about anything. Okay, we're just... I'm having issues here. You're making this into way bigger of a deal than it actually is. And that's funny because you're the guy and I'm the girl. I'm gonna work in 10 minutes. I got a whole bunch of library books to leave. Well, I don't have time for this. I just... I'm just gonna finish my tea. I've never been 
to Alaska Never been to Alaska I've never been to Alaska Hey, Gabriel. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, not much. I thought you'd be right here. Uh, what's going on? Writing some new material. What are you doing? I'm just uh, going to an interview. Where at, man? Uh, at some restaurant. Charlatan broke up with me. Really? Oh. Uh, there's hot chicks in restaurants, man. Really hot chicks. And they're always after the secret sauce. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, 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 I gotta go. Mount Everest. Brian? Hey, little brother. I climb Mount Everest every day on this thing. Mount Everest? You're on the Mount Everest plan? I see that commercial all the time. Mount Everest. Heard you need money. So, you need a job? So how's your stock game? I heard, uh, I heard that Enron's doing really good. Oh, well... That's kinda old now. Hmm. Uh... I'm not really, like, made out for a job, really, per se. I'm just thinking that... Well, you know, Blackbird needs a private investigator, a private, private detective agency. I think this is really, really could be a pretty good idea, I think. The other day, I had this, this kind of revelation. I'm, you know, hanging out, and then there's scritchings. There's scritching at the door. And it, it was a cat. How'd that cat get there? Meow. Who put that cat there? Meow. You kept the cat in a bag? 
Well, I don't really have a cat carry for him yet. Meow. I was thinking, you know, after everything, legal fees, starting low, like 20, 25, 25 grand, that's all I need. You know what your problem is? The confidence issues. Just gotta come with me with that idea. You gotta go head first, man. Balls deep. Being two years older, I can tell you this. I met a guy. His name's Rob Timmons. Rob Timmons? He is the man. He's a great guy. I played golf with him last week. Gotta let him win. You remember what I was like two years ago? He turned me from what you are now into the man I am now. Today. Okay. He's got a conference next week. Come next week. I'll coach you through it. He's got a great plan. It only takes 34 days. Plan? They give you like, like kind of like three, four fluff days. So what's your name? Larry? Spanky. George. Smokey. Lucas. Gray. Cap. Optimus, Randy, Dilbert, Roger, Alejandro, Alejandro. Next time on Blackberg. Kim, I want to rent out this washroom. Kim. How's it going? Hey, Charlotte in here? Hey. Hey, Charlotte. It's just Ken. Hey, Ken. What are you doing here? Can I see your bathroom? Okay, you... Yours isn't working at home, or you just have a new thing with using other people's bathrooms? But go, you know where it is. No, not the downstairs one. Oh, you have a preference. Put my name here. Ken Smith. P.I. Yes, desk here, my desk. Nice, nice. Be nice if I could get a view here. You're a special daughter. No, that's gotta go. Kim, I wanna rent out this washroom. It may come as a surprise to some people, but it really doesn't surprise me that you would want to rent out a bathroom. Well, a detective agency obviously needs a place of business. I just I'll always love this. Kevin Smith. So what do you say, 50 bucks a month? Hmm. 50 bucks, no. Well, I bet you never even use it. 75.
Do you expect for me to get, let you have this room for 50 bucks a month when there's going to be people marching up and down these stairs or probably a lack of people coming up and down these stairs using it as a public place? It's not happening, Ken. Like, it's just another one of your dumb ideas. Hey, Ken, what's going on up there? I'm joining a business venture, charlatan. Hundred. But they have to knock. Yes! I already told you, Kim, that I like you best. Hey, Ken. Can I talk to you for a minute? Charlton, I'm a little busy right now. Doing what? Well, Mr. Bronson, yeah, I, I am just swamped with work. I, uh, I, I don't think I can do that job. Can I just talk to you, please? Next week, at, at, at the earliest. I'm not very impressed with the arrangement that you made with my sister without my knowledge. Oh, you say you're off your price. Oh, well, th this is a little more interesting, Mr. Bronson. But if this is how it's gonna be, there's a couple things you need to do for me. Sorry, Charlotte, I'm just busy. I've made a little list up and, um, I think you'll see that it's more than fair. Happy detecting, Ken. I've ever told you that I like you least? Next time on Blackberg. This is it, Kenneth. This is the program. This is it, Kenneth. This is the program. Are you ready to change your life? No, left. <laughs> hey, Brian's here. Remember, gets one of these. Hey, we've got a new guy. Good. <sighs> kind of looks like him, actually. Do I get a mask? No. Hey, Brian Smith. What? Motivation is the first step to success. You have to believe in yourself. Motivation is the first step to success. Rob, 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 yeah. Rob, 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 Rob. Rob, 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 Rob. Yeah, you gonna, you gonna join or what? Cause I ask. Um, well, I don't have any money. I'll sponsor you. Seems alright. Play free call. <laughs> free call. <laughs> See you on the course, Brian. Sure, have a good one. I'll come see you in a couple days. I have a, I have a job for you.
Detective gig. Detective gig, right on. That's it. Hey, Last name or first name? I don't know, like some kind of rock musician or something? Gabe my Sloan. Um, he's looking for his cat named Alejandro. Are you serious? So what are you gonna do? Got my first detective gig. Oh. So what are you gonna do when Dwazel finds out that um you stole his cat. Charlton's calling me. Sorry. Next time on Blackburg. It's not a good idea. Don't tell Charlton, okay? Whatever you do, please don't tell him. Um, I think you just play my music for that, man, you know what I mean? Just it's too loud for the, the, the years of it and stuff, and, and it's real. I, it's, it's a place right there, it's home. The noise could be definitely a factor, um, as beautiful as it is. Right? Yeah, do you wanna, do you wanna, you wanna join or something? Uh, no, I, sh I shouldn't smoke, uh, shouldn't smoke on the job. Okay. <laughs> So, Mr. Dwazo. Uh, he, he called me Dwazo, man, or the Dwaz, whatever, man, whatever. Um, so you think the noise was a factor? The last time you saw him, that was when? Oh, okay. 
When he went missing, he, um... Uh, it was right after we shot the... It was right after we... Sh it was right after we shot the video to, um... Kill the world. Kill the world, man. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was... It was beautiful. It was a beautiful video. Uh, oh, you haven't seen the video? Well, well let's see. Let's watch the video, man. Oh, sure, we'll pop it in. It's good to see a visual of, of what I'm looking for. There's props from the video, Kill the World. No, we just shot it right here, man. You know, it's all a little budget shit, right? Ah, uh, oh, it's here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here you go. Hey man, what are you doing? Just uh, waiting for a bus. Bus, eh? Uh, I don't think it comes here. Really? Oh, could you like point me in the right direction? Because I, I don't know. Let's go. So, uh, this Saturday, I want to like have a party. Oh, yeah. You know, nothing big, not a block shaker, just a party. I don't know what constitutes a party, maybe half a dozen people, a dozen people. The problem is, I don't really know any chicks, so I was thinking maybe you could help me out in that department. Maybe you could, like, I don't know, wave your magic wand fingers and get uh, Charlotte and Kim to come out. I don't know, just a thought. Gabe, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to lie to me. I know you're selling drugs, Gabe. I'm not selling drugs, man. It's fine. I don't want what happened to you, you know, back in school. What's that? I just don't want that to happen again. Okay, okay, man. Just don't, don't, don't tell Charlotte, okay? Whatever you do, please, don't tell her. No, I won't tell Charlotte. Don't worry about it. Just until my next gig. Make some money then, and I'll go clean again. <laughs> Yeah, can you have that done by Monday? Can. Buddy, I got you all set up for the Timmons organization. You're an official member now. I'm uh, wondering if you could do me a favor. Look after my cat. No, I cannot look after your cat this weekend. I have company. I'll be for very long, I just... Okay, I'll try Gabe. By the way, Rob really dug your vibe. He wants to play some golf. Me, you, him, or a combination of that. Sure. Sounds great. Sounds good. See you then. Come in. Hey, I got a couple messages for you today. Serious? <laughs> no. Um, I I need to bring uh I need to bring my cat here. I, Taking your bloody cat. Why do you need somebody to babysit your cat? Have you asked Gabe? He's usually a sucker for a crappy chore. 
Gabe? Gabe's, uh, saw him today. He's, uh, he's a little busy. Gabe's selling drugs again? How do you know? How do I know? intuition. Hey, Charlatan. I don't know where my glasses are. They're... They're on your forehead. He can't do it, he's got some date or something. Uh, I, Gabe's real busy, so can I keep my cat here? You put the cat in the bag? Yes, I put a cat in the bag because I do not have a cat carrier yet. Why don't you just get on back? The cat in the bag does not go back to Dwazel. I'm sorry. That place is not safe for a kitty. I'm paying $100 rent. I'm doing chores up the yin yang. I want to keep Alejandro here safely for two days. All right? I'm sorry. This is your house. I shouldn't be yelling. Apologize. Closing up shop here. Uh, oh, just closing up shop, man. Oh, I've been drinking all day. I'm just. Uh. It's, it's, yeah, I'll just talk to you tomorrow. I'm just blessed, man. I just. Uh, I miss him. I, I miss Alejandro. Ever since I found him in Mexico, uh, he's just. We've been soulmates, man. We're just not soulmates. So buddies, man, so buddies. Oh. Hey, uh, that's Char Charlton, Charlton West. Charlton, how are you? you yeah, hey, she's, you pregnant? Hey, Dwazel. Hey, Charlton, the preggers, who, who's, it, Yep, that's my kid. Yep. Right on, right on. So what are you gonna name him? Ken Jr. Percolating there in that old belly there. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful name, man. Well, be around. Ah, oh, so you've been, you know, for quite a while now, like. Oh, we've been going out for years, ever since high school. You know, that's just, that's a beautiful thing. You know, I, I'm proud, of, like, I'm happy for you guys. I'm, I'm really happy. Um, yeah, I've got tons of leads. I, this is looking pretty positive here to get your cat back there. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you, uh, talk to you tomorrow then, I guess. You, you guys have a good one, okay? Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, see you later.
Hello? Hi, Kim. It's Izzy. Izzy? What are you doing? I'm good. I'm back in town. You're back in town? I just saw your sister. <sighs> Izzy Brown is back in town? <sighs> back in town. Just makes me think about some things. Makes me think of you, Charlton, you know. We both have our history with uh, Izzy. So what are you getting at? You just, just, you, you mean a lot to me, you know? Watch the dog shit there. Something I need to tell you. What? I slept with Kim. Why are you telling me this? Because you're important to me. I just, I know we have our, our little history, but let's just put that behind us. I just want to be, I just want to be friends with you again. I don't know why you're doing this. I just want you to be my friend. If you want to make it up to me, you're going to have to do some things. I'm doing... I'm doing tons of your chores. A huge list you gave me. Yeah, chores don't matter. That stuff doesn't matter. Well, what do you mean then? I want you to invite your brother to Gabe's party. Brian? I guess. He, he's a pretty busy guy. Yeah, well, I'm busy too. I can see what I can do. Just do it, okay, Ken? Fine. Then I'll forgive you. This, this is getting too heavy, this. Didn't we write our names here somewhere? Yeah, over here. I miss school, you know? <laughs> Nothing's too serious. Well, back then it was serious, but... Not everyone's so jaded, you know? I guess you gotta grow up sometime.
Charlotte. Charlotte. Hey. Is he here? Mm, no, Lizzie's not here. I told Kim that she wasn't allowed to come over or else I'd hang myself from the ceiling fan and she knows how dramatic I can be, so. I'm hungry, you got to eat? Yeah, I just made some pasta in the fridge. Sick. Is he alright? Have you checked him? Uh, no, I haven't looked at him. I'm a med student. I'm not a vet. Aren't those skills transferable? Uh, no. No. Oh, yeah, Joe! Oh, yeah, Joe! Charlotte, Dad, just look at him. He's a stressed out kitty cat. His nose is dry. This is a stressed out kitty cat. It's because Izzy Brown's back in town. Hey. What's up? We just got a couple questions again. Questions? Well, you're the detective. Do you prefer us? What's Izzy Brown doing back in town? Uh, she wants to get into real estate and she figures that, um, she should be near her mom, who is a real estate agent. She said anything about us? Ken is smolderingly handsome, I think she said. She's a bad influence, Kim. <laughs> We're just worried about you. I think you should cut out all Izzy Brown from your life and you will be free at last. I only hung out with her for a couple of hours. Um, she's got lots of things to do. She's pretty busy. She's moving in and stuff, so I haven't really seen that much of her. The hell that she put us through. It's not fair. And Alejandro's sick and it's a direct correlation with Izzy being back in town. I know it. If you haven't been hanging out with Izzy Brown, where what have you been doing? Uh, I was getting groceries. Groceries? Where are they? they? They weren't here on their way in. Did you eat them on the way home? Or? Uh, no, they were for a friend in need of oh, groceries. Makes sense, yes. All right. Think we're done here? Yeah, like, I, I, 
I love your music. Yeah. I can see, like, you're very talented. I, I can see a couple, I, uh, a couple things with, with like, just the way you present yourself, your confidence. And a guy, I know, he can totally rip that out for you. Yeah. Named Rob Timmons. I, I got his What's business card. Right? Does he like, what he specialize in? Like, uh, uh, just just uh, confidence. Just he makes you, he, he just makes you think, think about life and just. So, what's the issue, Rob Timmons? Well, um. Brian showed up at the party, and she's not here, so how sick do you think she is? Well, I just, you know, Brian had to cancel a few meetings to get here and stuff. Like, I just I just feel like a little used. Yeah, so well, feel like... she might show, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I can see, I can see you as, yeah, you, you, you gotta work, man. Yeah, yeah, no glasses, no glasses. Just no, yeah, adjust, adjust the hair, let's see. Yeah, I think it, yeah. How do you get down? Get rid of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah I see God. it. I see it. I see oh, it now. Yeah. I can't so, yeah, I'm doing that. Come on. Yeah. I can do something. I can see, though, like, the, the no glasses and the, the hair down. I, I think she can really get it. I think she can. Yeah, she can get, get, get somewhere. She, she can. Yeah, look. I can say it's Wally. I really believe in this. <laughs> Francis, yeah, what, like, what do you do? What do you do, man? I make, like, movies and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah does that yeah, does it actually, you know, give, give you some money once in a while? Like, what do you... No, you make a little harder. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. No, you had, like, limited distribution on that last one, didn't you? Like, what was your last project? Well, I did, like, a documentary. I just went and lived in the woods, yeah. like my back house, and uh, yeah. like, uh, dude, like you're kind of close. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. You think that maybe she got sick from Alejandro? Could be. Yeah. Tell her about like Rob Timmons, man. Like how how uh, I've only met him really the once. I guess we're supposed to play golf. Try yeah. golf soon. He seems alright. But yeah, I haven't really seen his face because they work fast, so we may not see it. I see. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll just push you into music. Don't worry about it. It's, 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 the mass thing is just okay. very small. Hey, Charlton brought a tea? So how long have you known? The game loves you. Oh. Since the party. He never said anything to you before? Well, now that I think of it, he was pretty excited that you broke up with me. <laughs> Charlton broke up with me. Really? He was pretty adamant that I don't tell you about the whole dealing drugs escapades. It's not a good idea. Don't tell Charlotte, okay? Whatever you do, please don't tell her. Now that I think of it, it seems that the party was an excuse to see you. You could, like, I don't know, 
wave your magic wand fingers and get uh, Charlatan and Kim to come out. I don't know. Just a thought. Because that's the only people he mentioned that he cared to come. Hmm. Um, you got to do something about Alejandro. Like you brought him over in that bag saying he was going to stay for the weekend and he's been here for almost a month now. And like, I have to feed him. Um, like I have to take care of him. He brings birds in the house. That's your plan. Like, why? Why can you stay at your apartment? Because that's too hot of a zone. It's cool. It's a hot zone. So, what does your brother think of me? He was uh, a little distracted by your cameo appearance. Well, there is more to Charlotte and West than just projectile vomiting. Hey, they might be putting the new uh, clownies in. What's clownies? New fast food restaurant. You know, come to clownies, it's always a party. It's the last thing that Blackbird needs. I think, we, yeah, well, that's what I was saying. I think we should protest it. Where are they putting it? They're developing at Jones Park. Take down a park to put a fast food place in? Yeah, I don't know. Blackbird doesn't need one of those. So Dwazel called like three times today, says that um, he wants to talk to you, that he's writing a new song. And the money he raises from the song, he's donating to um, Binding Alejandro. So you better keep looking. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. Feeling better. I'm glad you're feeling better. Kind of hit us all very hard, eh? Get him <laughs> what? Oh yeah, okay. I'll, I'll I'll be right there. That was Brian. He was fired. Okay, how'd he get fired? He was late for work. Because he was sick? Because he was sick. Oh my god. He's really gonna like me now. That might put a damper on your relationship. In the cake. So now, because of this, Rob Timmons has called an emergency meeting. Yeah, so I gotta go. What's going on, Ken? Brian, Brian's in trouble. You gotta help me. Previously on Blackberg. Oh yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. That was Brian. He was fired. Okay. How'd he get fired? He was late for work. So now because of this, Rob Timmons has called an emergency meeting. Yeah, so I gotta go. I've got to change my appearance. Like, I can't wear this anymore. So what happened now? Me and Brian were... We're going to meet Rob Timmons, right? 
at this super secret location. And then all of a sudden there's like a dozen guys around him. First he was like, where is, like, where, where's my mask? And I was like, well, I, it wasn't in the mail yet. It like hadn't come. Brian, we, we just can't, because you lost your job and all that, we, we just can't, we can't afford that in, in our, in our company. Can't afford that. And then Brian's like, you know, I put thousands into this thing. And like, it's true. Like, I think he's put like a lot of money into this, uh, this program and like, and they're like, well, we just can't, it, it spreads like virus uh, all through uh, a company, failure does. Yeah, um, you know, we just can't, we can't accept failure in our, in our business. So Raw pulls out a gun and all the guys pull out guns and get weapons and pieces of sticks and stuff and like limbs of the trees and they, and they start chasing us. So we have, we can do anything but run. somehow managed to get away from them and that's it. What are we doing? I gotta go, man. I, I gotta go to Mexico. I'm on the lamb now. I'm going to Kim and Charlton. Whatever, man. I, I'll call you in a couple days. And I came here. And now Brian's on the run. And I'm kind of worried about my brother now. So will you help me? I gotta... You got a wig or something? Help you disappear? Forever? Yeah.